my YouTube channel. My name is Isabel and I am the Crafty C2. This is my very first YouTube video, so expect for it to be a little messy. For my first craft, I decided to do something that got really popular in my Instagram and just add a bit of Disney to it. So I decided to make this guy, a layered skeleton Mickey. And if you guys want to see how he was made, keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's click upload. I have previously uploaded the image before, so let's go ahead and click this and insert. And you probably saw a sneak peek of it in my Instagram stories a while back. So let's go ahead and ungroup them because we are only doing Mickey today. So let's hover over Stitch and delete him. Let's click on Mickey and make him the size that we want it. And I want him to be four inches tall. All right, and let's ungroup him so I can show you the layers that he's made out of. He's made out of four, his bones and his mittens, which let's go ahead and turn it white because that's what he's going to be in my tumbler. His face and his mouth and his shadow. If you want to see how I created this multi-layer SVG file, leave a comment down below. Let's go ahead and click make it. All right, so off camera, I already went ahead and placed all my layers into one mat, and I did the same thing into my green standard mat. So let's go ahead and continue, and we're going to connect to my Cricut Maker. So I went ahead already and cut everything off camera just to make it a little bit more faster. And I'm going to turn this over and start peeling everything. Okay, now that we have everything off the mat, let's go ahead and start weeding. These are going to be a simple one to weed. This one, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because it's a little bit smaller pieces. And like you can see, it's very hard to tell because it's white vitals, just a little hard to tell. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, and what you'll see is I'm going to start weeding from a corner, peel and trim, peel and trim. So then the vinyl that I don't need doesn't get stuck to the actual pieces that I do need. Now that we went ahead and weeded everything, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Strong Grip Green Mat again. I'm going to grab the shadow and like always, I'm going to put him here in the corner. And the reason I do this, it's so he doesn't move around and it gives me like a flat, safe surface. Alright, so for weeding, I actually use contact paper. I got it at Walmart. It comes in a big row. It's inexpensive. It's not as good as the other for transferring, but it's actually perfect for layering because it's less sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the white. And I'm actually going to move this over. I'm not going to put down a lot of pressure when pressing him down, but just lightly so he doesn't move around. And I'm just trying to see how much I need. So now that I rub the back, I'm going to go ahead and sometimes this can happen where it gets stuck, but don't stress yourself about it. Grab another piece. So that, let's try another side. All right, so the trick to this is he's already placed together, like in perfect position. So go ahead, what you want to do is always try to avoid that part and try to line it up in one corner hovering like this one stays up and I try to line it up as close as I can because if you get one angle already down then everything else would just follow I'm going to hover it lightly to make sure and voila I still hold it up and I don't really let like I don't want it to touch the black because it makes it a little harder. 
But you see, that's the reason that contact paper is perfect. <laughs> go ahead and hover over try to find the best position and put it down only put try to touch the part that you just put down like don't press everything else down but I'm telling you this contact paper for layering is amazing and now all we have left is this tongue and for this part I actually don't even bother with the whole contact paper I just grab my tweezers and I try to line it up the best that I can Ooh. if any if it always if it does get down just pick it back up gently and find the spot and there you go and that's it now he's all layered I'm gonna go ahead and flip my mat and peel him out this way. Now that he's out of my mat, I'm still gonna leave him turned over and I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a couple scrapes just to make sure that everything is pressed down correctly. And look at that, you guys. He's all layered. Now let's put them on our tumbler. This is a tumbler. You guys might remember it. I made it in one of my Instagram posts and videos. There's a video on that. Before I get uh, any cookies, I like to actually trim the parts I don't need. I don't like having too much excess. It's just my preference. So I cut it out. Now let's go ahead and take that off. For this, I hold two pinkies down, fold them like a taco, and center it down. Okay. And just let it fall. I actually don't trim these sides because I want it there. I want it there. Okay. Because that's actually what's going to anchor it down. All right. So, like I said, tumbler. I'm going to let it air dry because what? It won't stick. It's going to go like this. All right. Pick it up. See if this is where you want it. Do you want it higher? Do you want it lower? Move it around to make sure that it's matching the back. Okay. Put them back down. As soon as you get up, everything usually just goes with it. Okay, so we're not touching this part because we want that to stick. We're still holding it down. We're going to go ahead and grab our scissors. I believe this method is called the hinge method. Cut it off. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. And then with our scraper. Okay. And you see, this worked like holding it down. And you were able to cut off the rest. I'm going to press it down really good. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. But this one, it's gonna be easier. Grab it from the corner. And like always, gently pull it. Well, I kind of feel a little bit of pressure because like I got this is brand new transfer tape. So it is, it's a really good transfer tape.
what do you guys think? Nothing crazy hard, right? Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!